Wow, wow, we eat not a beautiful day. Wow, 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 wow. You love me. Hi, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, hello, guys. It's another beautiful episode of The Real, Real Talks with the Salamis. So, Vips, how about now? Yeah. Um, what are we talking about today? Yes, so um, today's show we'll be talking about insecurities in marriage. Um, insecurity happens to be something that is very serious, very deep. And if we go by ratio, it happens to every or well, let's say 95% of every marriage go, goes through insecurities and I've been there I'm out of it and sometimes it's really crazy <laughs> yeah give it to me bro I mean come on I deserve some okay, miraculous yeah wait, like you're well to you. you said you've been there you okay. are out of it okay. thank God for me how that I helped you out of it Who now. Told you you're the one. I know now. I know. I know I'm the yes, one. Yes, but wait, were you, were you at some point in securing your marriage? Definitely, I was. Okay. Um, but so before we go deep down, because okay. I know you want me to go deep down, okay. and I don't want to go deep down. Ah, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> that, that's not that's not coming out right. You say you want. I want you to go deep down. Stop. No, it that's is my really job. Fasting. It is my job to go deep down. <laughs> Do you understand? Shut up! If you ask me to go deep down, I will go deep down. Why did I use that word deep down? Well, you! Well, okay, no problem. Okay, guys. This is what I have to do with every day of my life. Yeah, right. So, first of me, what do you, if you have to term insecurity, what does that word mean to you? Oh, well, I'm insecure. Insecurity, it's simple. And I believe that uh, the best way to explain this is we all know what security is all about and um, the opposite of security is insecurity so yeah so if you're not secured you understand yeah if you're not secured the opposite part of it is insecurity so I mean yeah, yeah that's a layman's definition yeah did, but... you, did you say layman's definition <laughs> no this is what I'm saying you know you people you people are here now so it is me that is the layman now. No. Ah, Obim, oh, you cannot be a layman. Hey, see, 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 see how, okay. see how, how I'm being bought over. <laughs> but it's okay. All right. I feel if we have to go by, it's actually very simple. Insecurity has to be something that brings down your self-image or your ego. Something that makes you doubt yourself. Something that make that makes you lose your confidence in yourself, in your marriage, or in a particular relationship. So that is it. So, um, like I said, I've been there. There are times that you would, uncertainty comes in. And the truth is, insecurity can be healthy sometimes if it's not too deep because mm. it actually helps you to improve in yourself. It makes you work on yourself. And but when it, when you when you when you sh when you bring so much into it, when you do it so much, I think it brings personal havoc and. It makes your relationship very toxic so you need to work on it so i feel self you need to deliberately know the problem because you can if you do not know the problem you just keep going around the circle you need to know okay fine this is what is giving me issues this is what i'm not happy about this is what is happening to me then you intention as in you deliberately work towards it so what do you have to say when it comes to that angle and how because I would want us to streamline that to marriage. Um, um, that, um, to, to start with, I think uh, you said it all, that, you know, saying that, uh, you know, sometimes it can be healthy, sometimes it can be unhealthy. Now, uh, whether, it's, whether it's healthy or not, I think it's a personal decision if it is healthy or not. You know, because the truth about it is just like when you say, oh, I am envious of this person. Now, the kind of envy that you have for that person, is it the healthy one? Is it that one that makes you look at, okay, fine, how do I work on the best part of me? Or you are envious of that person and you're wishing that person's downfall. Now, okay. back to insecurity. In fact, I'll, I'll say even insecurity can even lead you to that. Yeah. If you're not secured about your career, but that's 
a topic for another time yeah so so basically if it's going to be healthy for your marriage or for you at the end of the day it's a personal thing for you now which do you want which do you want it to be do you want it to be healthy or do you want it to be the one that become a toxic one that affects you breaks you down you know psychologically morally and otherwise yeah now because um at every point in time marriage i believe the marriage um there is a lot Mar marriage is an institution yeah. there is a lot for us to learn when it comes to marriage and i believe that why it's an institution is because i am from a different background i am from the salamis background you are from the Ariola's background your upbringing is quite different from mine you understand the salamis you understand which of course you have joined us anyways you're welcome <laughs> you know yeah you know so um there is no way that we would um find ourselves not engaging in conflict sometimes because there are certain actions or reactions that i will give sometimes that if you do not ask me about for me to clarify you you begin to nurse the the the, the wrong notion. notion about it and at the end of the day because you have failed to ask because we have not communicated for us to have clarification at the end of the day these are one of the signs these are one of the actions these are one of the things that end up into you know pushing you into insecurity yeah for example i receive a call and maybe that person happens to be my colleague and we are probably running lines for example and the last time we probably ran like maybe it has to do with something romantic and i want to run a line with that person based on how playful i am you know and the next thing the person calls me and the next thing i'll be like hey what's up sugar and the person dropped the other line to there and we begin to run in vice versa now in that case we probably end up with laughter and you have failed to ask maybe something popped up immediately i didn't have time to explain to you that uh -uh. or ask you like i went into you asking me while we we're giggling like that you know over the phone you keep that notion without asking and you begin to nurse insecurity it's just an example but i feel it's a very good example based on my kind of job but if i had never told you that day or if you didn't ask me there is no way i would have been able to tell you that oh babes oh that's an art crypto and if you're not too sure for every script there's always a template there's you know i'll just go there and pick it up and I'll show you and what would that do it will clarify so many things, so many things at the end of the day you know yeah yeah he's done bro and uh -oh. um, are you judging me are you my god <laughs> no what i'm trying to say that so a very large extent you've mm -hmm. been able to break so many things down yeah yeah so that's that's actually how you can work on that and sometimes there are several ways to overcome this thing it's not easy it's it has to be your personal decision if you want to grow if you want to be happy so, yeah that's the word if yeah. you want to be happy if you want to be happy because happy happy everything we do not because we want to be happy, happy. yes 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 thank you Oh, thank you for the soundtrack oh, oh. <laughs> you're, you're too good oh, so yeah one of the ways one of the many ways you can actually overcome insecurity in your marriage or your relationship is to to stop overthinking when you when you think too much just like he said he receives a call he's trying to run lines with a colleague and because you feel oh they are being mushy mushy you do not want to ask questions if you deliberately ask questions, you will get the answer. True. But when you do not, you begin to cook up stories. You, you begin to cook up things that are not real. Mm -hmm. Then you begin to dwell in your sorrow, your sadness and all of that. So when you deliberately need to stop overthinking, then I think... When you finally decide. Yes, you need to decide to stop overthinking so you can be sane. Because when you when you when you when you soak yourself so much in insecurity, it's like madness. Mm. I was online with you the other day and I saw something and it says, eh, "Am I mad? Cause I'm insecure." Hmm. So you know when this is when this is when it, when it's serious, then you know it's like mad madness. Like you don't know what you're doing. You're lost. So you don't have to allow yourself get to that corner that you're looking like a mad woman or a madman. 
And at the end of the day, I think that is what it, you know, creates for you. It, it, it runs you mad. Yeah, you ask yourself lots of questions in your head, and I'm sure it must have happened to you guys at one point or the other. You begin to ask yourself a lot of questions. What is it that I'm not, I'm not doing right? You know, I have done everything possible, you know, to, to be good to this man or to be good to this woman. Because, hey, if you ask me, are men too also insecure in their marriages? Yes. Definitely. A lot of times, yeah, that's why, I mean, what she mentioned the other time that, oh, oh, yeah, I mean, this happens to 95% of every marriage. Is yes, because in a marriage, a man and a woman makes up a marriage. And in a marriage whereby you say, oh, there's a one, what, uh, what, what's um, one man's needs? Another man's poison. Yeah. Whatever faces you is backing somebody, somebody else. Mm -hmm. You know, at the end of the day, you know. So, in a home, a man could be experiencing insecurity. Yeah. And uh, in another home, so the woman. Mm -hmm. You understand? And guess what? In some homes, the both of them are experiencing insecurities. <laughs> and now, it's crazy. And it's crazy. And that's to tell you how you know the madness can eventually creep in. You know, because you both are going to be asking yourself questions individual. What they say communication communication is very important. It's actually very important. It is well. very important. It has helped us a lot. It has helped us a lot. Yes, I am a talkative. My wife is not. She understands. She does a lot of talking in her head. In her, <laughs> in her mind. She does lots of talking. Like she speak she talks she talks louder than me in her mind. You know, but yeah, she knows the kind of person I am. And she feels that okay fine maybe probably when this man is talking i don't want him to get angry because well i could be very temperamental and she she knows that but hey we try to manage it because we i asked a question before we got married i said what is that thing that you don't like about me i said she said she loves everything about me apart from what temperament apart from my temperament and i told myself from that they wrote to me i know i have this thing but because i want a peaceful home I am deliberate. I was deliberate about it. I started praying and I begged her to also help me. So one of the ways of helping me was sometimes when I talk, and when I talk, that doesn't mean I, I shout, but I talk so that we can understand. But because of the kind of person that she is, you must have noticed ever since we've been talking here, she uses more big, big grammar than myself. You understand? He, me, I went to Alaska. But we will talk. <laughs> Lima, we understand. You understand? But for them, she went to Unilag. Mm -hmm. She may talk. Only people that study Cambridge sometimes would understand. But however, that's why we're a good match at the end of the day. Uh, we all cannot, you know, we, we cannot be on the same pace. Yeah. If, if it's going to be fun, there are certain things that are not going to be fun if you're on the same pace. So insecurities in marriage, sometimes you are the one who would be the one to tell yourself that, okay, this is my level of insecurities because in fact i think there are insecurities in different departments yes they are even you in know, marriage yeah sometimes it's not just with your partner uh, your partner your husband your wife it might be something your partner said long time ago that that you just uh, you just but even your ex let go. even your ex something your ex has said long time ago mm -hmm. that you cannot believe or you have it at the back of your mind if it begins to happen in your marriage sometimes because you guys don't talk it can also create insecurity. Yeah, yeah. I know of someone who says the only time, like, a ninety-five percent, she can say her husband is faithful. But the problem of, as in the reason for her own insecurity is that her husband gives more accolade to the mother than herself. Like she mm. feels. I am the second woman in this man's life. Like when mm. he's talking, uh, oh my mother, she's uh, la, 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 la. and she says, oh, la, la, la. oh my mother. I'm like, what about me? Am I not trying? Am I not good? So I feel that they have stages to this thing. True. So you need to really define yours. It could be your husband that is cheating or flirting, or your husband gives accolade to the mother than yourself your siblings your, you know, you know, or to a friend's it, wife you know it's, you know it's, it's, and, yeah, and that's, why, that's why that's why it's bad to even compare people yeah comparison is actually a very very bad thing to do in a marriage not just in a marriage in a family amongst friends even a place of work if you want this other person to deliver I don't think it's best to make this other to person feel less. Term, yeah. Don't use that term like, oh, if it was this can't person, you see, can't you see this see? person, you know, this person looks better, this person talks better, this person want to achieve this. No. Yeah. I feel it is better to probably just cite example. In a calm way, it's easy for you to just come out and just say, um, hey, uh, Jimmy, 
I'm thinking this um, proposal you wrote, if you had wrote it this way, this way, this way, it would have been a lot better. And I would suggest that maybe you begin to understudy a couple of people. One person close to you is that person that you would have used to yeah. spite him or her. I say, oh, if you have, maybe you should try another study, James. Uh, James, you know, sometimes he. No, there are ways. You know, there are ways. When you, when you, when you wrap it up like that, you try to advise, and you do not temper on that person's self confidence. Confidence, yeah. Because when you, when you, when you compare, when you, and, when yeah. you temper on it, that person wouldn't want to do anything spontaneous anymore. He would yeah. want to do something like James, and you can't and, be James. And sometimes the person would unconsciously have a beef for James. Definitely. Because you'll feel like, oh, is it is it just him? Yeah, definitely. You know, so in order to actually, you know, um, liberate, or what's it called? So to make to make the atmosphere good enough for everyone and yeah. comfortable for everybody to be deliberate about not making people feel bad. Yes. I think everything, even even for insecurities in marriage, if you don't like to make people feel bad, then it's going to be very difficult for you, you understand, to offend this other person or put that person in that position. Mm -hmm. And if it ever happens, this is where communication comes out. And never believe that Which you know it Which is one of the many ways you can overcome insecurity in your marriage or your relationship. Mm -hmm. You know communication is... It's, it's like one big thing everybody keeps saying. You need to communicate. You need to communicate. Well, how have you, you, how have you been communicating? But are you communicating right? While b back then in school, I did a course. Um, what's that? What's that again? I think something communication. Like, I am talking to you and I'm using the scabla, big grammar, mm -hmm. and you're there. You're like, I'm not communicating because you don't understand what you I'm saying. You are just talking. I'm just blabbing. And that's why I feel, even in our movies, Sorry, I have to drag us to that. When when making movies for private Nigerians, and you use your actors are using big terms, big phone air and all of that. Yeah. At the end of the day, you now say your movie did not sell. People my brother, my sister, ones, how you want to sell? Turning the British and the America. You, you understand? Them. No. You the see, in you know she she's a in it. She's a gonna gonna. Oh, and look at look at. I give it to you, Lady la Lady la You know what I'm saying? And that's why you can understand the, the thing oh that I'm God. saying, you know. So, but then I don't think we we'll have to spend too much time on this so just particular like episode. Every, 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 every counselor will say you need to communicate, but yeah. make sure you're communicating right. That's the word. Don't just talk, don't bring yourself down because you want to pass a message. Talk, reason with each other. You will, you, you're both adults. Yeah. And so you sit down and come to a common goal. And if it's this thing, the particular thing your partner has said or done in the past that is, is really disturbing you, you still need to talk about it. You need it. to clarify. You need to talk about it. You did this to me. I'm not happy about it. This is what this thing you said so many years ago is doing to me right now. But mm. I want to heal. Mm. So for me to heal, I need to let it go. And sometimes when you don't let some things go, you can't have peace. Yeah. And that peace is paramount for you to be alive, for you to enjoy all the goodies in life. True. So you need to deliberately do some things to make yourself happy. So there are several ways, like I said, you stop overthinking, let go of the negative things your partner must have done in at the all past. Point. At all points. Let it go. At all points. Try and create new stories. Mm. Try and don't don't lose that touch of new couple. Yeah. You know while we're dating, like. Mm, it was fun, what are you doing? Yeah, was, yeah. What are you wearing? Have you had dinner? Will you bring food for me in my house? No. Will you dance for me naked? <laughs> that kind of thing, you know? You get... So don't lose that vibe. Sometimes, marriage is a whole lot. You know, sometimes you say, eh, is it easier said than done? Yes, actually, but I'm married. Sometimes you get you get deep down, your stress, you, the kids, everything. You What if someone say, come and dance for me naked? be like, really? <laughs> is that is that really what I want to do now? But sometimes you need, to, you need to you need to create that atmosphere like when we're both just no kids, no body, just yeah. ourselves. So try and bring back that old vibes. It's gonna do a whole lot. So please and please and please again. It's not easy, but you need to deliberately, deliberately. bring peace to yourself. Yeah. Before you can give it out, because if you do not love yourself enough, you can't give it out to no husband, no mm. wife. So you need to deliberately do things that will make you happy. Then you can share with your partner. So please and please again, fam, always talk, communicate right, yeah. for you to level down the insecurity in you your relationship. You people, while communicating, don't forget that you will still quarrel in between that. Yeah. 
But you will disagree. before you start communicating, have at the back of your mind that this is going to end up positive. Because there are some communication you have, it is going to it's going to inflate or skyrocket, you know, the level of the anger, you know, compared to how it even started. Yes. So be prepared. Why do people talk? You want that person to talk because you want that person to air ease our mind. So if that person has said something that is even more pain, you know, than what you ever imagine, be ready to receive it. Yeah. And at the like, end of the day, yeah, mm -hmm. like go ahead. Like he said earlier, I am not the talk, 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 talk person. Yeah. When we are having issues and he needs to talk easy, he, I don't like it. I don't like. I yeah. just look. You see, it's it's not. There's no. There's no film three to this thing. When the there's no film three. I said film three. I thought I heard film three. Right. Now that's the thing with all these Ajabata people. So <laughs> what I was trying to say before, <laughs> just leave him. So what I'm saying is that someone has to be the. What's that Yoruba thing? Actually, who used to do Yoruba film? Uh, yeah. uh, what, what are you going to say? Uh, someone has to be the and goat. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, someone yeah. has to be the goat for another to be the sheep. Yeah. yeah. So let me say he's the goat. <laughs> you're a goat. <laughs> and you're, you're a goat. Did I say you're a goat? You're a goat. No. <laughs> oh well, 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 great of all nations. I mean, I mean, of, of all time. Greatest of all time. Greatest of all time. Yeah, you know, so, yeah, right. Yeah. On that note, yeah, right. So what I was trying to say is that. He is the loud person while we're talking, and I am the. And sometimes it's just for peace to reign. I'm not saying I'm I'm keeping quiet because I'm stupid. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying because I am I'm inferior. Infer I have this inferiority complex. But no, I just I want to hear him, so I can pick. Then when I talk, you also have to listen. So when somebody is ah, don't be because you're going don't be, don't be. You will just break each other's head yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah. So you when know. when your husband is you and when your wife is you, I think that's how you just um, moderate this thing yeah. because it's not is is a deliberate work. I know I know a lot of people would want to know how you have been managing as um, a wife of uh, a, celebrity. a celebrity actor who does more roles of kissing, you know. But well, at the end of the day, it's my job. But then, briefly, before we just come to the end of this um, segment of insecurity, um, what, how have you been managing and coping with this? Because a lot of people will tell you, I cannot marry a an, celebrity, actor. an actor or a celebrity yeah. because of this security in marriage, you know? Okay, actually, the thing is, personally, I've been doing this job before I got married. So I, I know more than a thing or two about the job. So I don't, I do not think, and I've never seen my husband kiss, and I'm like, except when I know this person is the person that keeps contact with my husband. Like they talk regularly, and I'll be like, okay, he knows me. I can define a good kiss. I can define acting kiss. Hmm. Oh, I, am, I am bad like that. Yay. I am bad like that. So the thing so is, so you not give people those who the secrets. How do you decode? <laughs> No, 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 no. Some things are inborn. It's true, true, sure. So, so, true. except my husband has, um, what would I say? Maybe he keeps contact with this person. Then I know, okay, something is fishy. But I do not have a problem. Whatever he does on screen, behind the camera, in front of the camera, sorry. So, he is working. But when I begin to sense that, okay, this is, I call you, hey, Alpha. But wait, so have you, have you ever decoded any... You with know, your colleague beyond, or just no 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 beyond movie. like the, a kiss like me kissing in a movie oh and yes okay. uh, recently one of those are jobs and you're like okay yeah. and i have to explain and okay like, and yeah. i have to say what the director wanted yes i yes. wouldn't want to mention the name of the director but the director insisted that oh uh, uh, no. because when i know because if i put the producer insisted say wrote to me no deep kiss deep kiss i was like okay well for the sake of the job because at the end of the day one thing you guys must understand is apart from the fact that we are artists there are certain things a director wants and that's why it's always that a director's movie you know that's why like oh film a film by there are certain things a director will insist that oh this is how i want it yeah. and you just have to do it just his for the way. sake of yeah his way i mean just for him to feel good about his job and for you to be professional as well so the truth is if you know that is why 
courtship is good if you know your heart cannot take it hmm. do not venture courtship that's that's a topic for another time yes it is. so do not so it's like i was born for this man you know, I've been yeah. ready for this. You're, so, born, you're born. You're born to be married to a fine boy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. And I'm born to be married to a pretty, smart, elegant, beautiful. <laughs> so, so until another time. <laughs> my name remains Rotimi Salami, and I am Jumake Salami, and it's real talk with the, the Salami. salami.